my friends. All right, so what you see behind me is Tabernacle Hill. That's what they call Tabernacle Hill. Um, so um, this weekend, I am going to, uh, I'm actually at the Meadow Lava Tubes uh, near Meadow and or Fillmore, Utah. And I've, I've visited here before, but uh, I didn't really get a chance to do a video and a, uh, I, I want to start doing some reviews of some of the hiking trails and some of the hiking areas around Utah uh, since I'm here. Um, and you can kind of see around me, of course, I'm able to, uh, to drive right up to the area, but we are going to um, venture off into the uh into the lava tubes and this place there, there used to be a great big lava lava tube going through here but a lot of it has collapsed and uh no longer lava but um it takes about an hour and a half i from what i read to tour the caves and the old tubes now um i'm going to actually get ready to go do that right now and um As, as soon as I finish my Rev 3, I will get moving. And uh, I can't really give you an idea of what it looks like quite yet, uh, other than what you see behind me there. But apparently it's very, very rocky, uh, sharp edges, things like that. So, uh, and I want to kind of get through it. They say an hour and a half. I'm going to see if I can do it in an hour, uh, hence the energy. Um, but anyway. Uh, and then a little bit later, I'm actually going to camp out here in this area and you can kind of see the area in which I have to camp. Pretty dry. There's actually fire pits here, but there's no firewood here anywhere. What do we burn? Grass? Dead sagebrush? I don't know. But I've got something, I brought a couple of things that I want to try out and I'm going to do a review, a product review on these things to see if they work. All right, guys. But anyway, hey, let's go. Let's go and uh, let's go tour some, some lava tubes. All right. See you guys in just a bit. Hello, my friends. All right, so I am now, as you can see, in one of the caves. I don't even know if you can see me, you can probably see the light behind me. Uh, it is somewhat dark, but it, it, uh, it opens up here. There's some holes where it kind of opened up like this in the ground. And if you look here behind me, you can kind of see it opens up again. We got we got some light over there. Uh, there's actually ooh, it's very cool in here. It's probably about 50, 55 degrees outside, uh, but down in here, I'll bet it's closer to 40, maybe even a little cooler. But uh, there's actually room in here. I don't know if you can see. You can set up tents inside here. You can set up a tent in here. But we're gonna go ahead and go on out that and uh, and. Uh, continue on so we'll uh, give you a little bit of trail time here and uh, so you can kind of see what we're doing here see you in a bit
Hello, my friends. All right, so I've been out in the open for a little bit here. It's sunny and, and it's warm. Of course, I put another shirt on underneath. It's got a lining for warm or for cooler weather, but uh, man, it's hot. Of course, from what I understand, I'll be going into some caves that are pitch black. Uh, so I do have a couple flashlights, obviously one on my phone. And I've got this lamp. I'll have to look at it later. I got it tucked away, but um, somebody on uh, Amazon got a hold of me and sent me a couple of these headlamp uh, things uh, for a head. But uh, um, and I'm going to give them a review. Try it out. It's pretty bulky for like lightweight backpacking and stuff like that. But I'll show it to you guys later uh, here in a little bit. But check out this cool little gorge right here. It's pretty cool. I mean, I could camp right down inside here. I kind of, I, honestly, I kind of wish I had to put my backpack on and brought all my gear right down here and, and uh, I can't, well, I can still come back down here. Uh, I don't know if there's a, I don't know if I could just kind of walk along the top from there um, up to here, get you out of the sun there. Um, I could probably just come down this, uh, this rock here if I just kind of walk around there. Uh, other than that, I'm kind of cliffed out, you know, so, but, uh, a pretty cool little gorge to hang out in here you know I, I don't know if we get any wind or not anything down here of course and then campfires I don't know out in this dry dry grass that's kind of risky but I suppose if I caught the grass on fire here it wouldn't go too far would it <laughs> it can't travel up that rock but but uh oh, what do we got going on here looks like we're going back underground uh, so uh yeah could be getting dark. This could be where I need my flashlight and my headlamp. But you can kind of see there behind me. But this is really, really cool. Uh, unlike any other hike I've been on. Uh, so this is, uh, this is pretty excited. exciting. I'm uh, certainly excited about this. I'm not going to need those right now. Uh, so, but, uh, oh yeah. Oh, wrong place. There you go, huh? So well, let's uh, let's go ahead and go up in here and see what this has got. Um, uh, some of these rocks are pretty sharp, so I almost wish I would have worn some gloves. Uh, you know, some. Oh, this is a lot like a lot like the other one here. So it goes down in there and then opens back up. But like I said, at some point it's supposed to close up and you're inside caves for a while uh pitch black so looks like we got some more i don't know what this stuff is um it's probably just like some of the grasses or something like that maybe some critter or something brings it down here well, there's some pistachio shells so uh they say that there's you know a lot of people come up here but uh, I, I did see one, one truck leave and then one car with one guy in it leave. I suppose if things got real bad, you could climb down inside of there. There's actually room enough for a couple of people in there. You can just take your sleeping bag in there and sleep inside there. Uh, but man, this is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. You see that pigeon? Um, Wow, this is neat. There appears to be some sort of stuff that looks appear like they're like it's dripping off of here. But uh, like maybe they're icicles, water seeping through it. It got so cold that it it's, uh, it froze. Well, lots of pigeon crap right here and feathers. Uh, there's kind of a hole up there. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like that the pigeons. Kind of perched out up there on a little ledge yeah there's a ledge up there so looks like it's perched out up on that so but uh but hey anyway uh oh there's some bigger rock to climb on here so far nothing's been real slippery so that's a that's a good thing uh but very sharp um and rugged 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 uh rocks so, yeah, but uh, certainly having a good time. Lightweight shoes, 
probably I've got my oboes on. Um, they're quite durable, good hard rubber bottom and whatnot. That way it can take the abuse of these sharp rocks. But um, if you've got some nice tennis shoes or something like that you're gonna wear, I would suggest that you don't wear them unless you wanna get them cut up and wore out. Get some old shoes or if you got some good, good hiking, rugged hiking shoes. So, okay, I'm not quite sure where I'm going here. I think it's probably this way. I'm naturally going this direction, so, uh, yeah. Wow, this is neat, isn't it? Okay, looks like I got some maneuvering to do in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and uh, find my way through. We'll see you guys later, shortly. Hello, friends. Whew. All right, this is pretty cool. You can uh, check this out. So you can see there's like these holes in the ground and uh, you can kind of see the grass, the grass up there along these holes. I'd hate to be uh, walking around in the dark up there some night and fall into a hole. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy how these holes are right through there. That's a long fall. Heck, you could drive a car into that one. But, uh, Interesting enough, I'm not quite sure, but we have like a big heap of wood here. It looks like a, some sort of a bridge or walkway of some sort, and I'm not quite sure, but hey, firewood. We just found some firewood. <laughs> and it looks like there's some straw, some straw down here. I don't know if people put straw down here to sleep on or what the deal is, but uh, we certainly have firewood if we want it. Um, but uh, anyway, so this fun little adventure is kind of cool so far. Uh, having, a, having a good time here with this. But um, we get up here, we're coming back out into the opening. Uh, looks like we'll be out here for just a little bit. Uh, so we're kind of out of the caves, but again, kind of a, kind of a hole right in there. Man, I don't, you can kind of see that stuff is cracked up there. So if anybody ever, if anybody's ever in this area and they're walking, Walking through these caves, keep an eye on stuff like that because man, that'd be horrible if that came down, wouldn't it? Right on top of somebody. But uh, but let's see what the what the opening here has in store for us. And uh, holy moly, look at this, you guys! Look at this. This is part of the trail. I hope that that uh, sunlight's not too much in your face there, but but uh, this is part of the trail. It looks like. Uh, Heck, I oh yeah, I could climb out of here if I wanted to, but I'm not getting. Apparently, this goes all the way around and kind of loops around. So, this is gonna be fun. So, all right, guys, let's go. Hello, my friends. All right. So, I've been through there. I've explored all that. Um, come to just a bunch of dead ends. Um, but uh, I've seen a lot of these things right here. Now, I don't know how a guy can climb up there, but well, I, I know I can climb up there. But again, I'm alone. I don't know if anybody else is coming out here today. Um, I do have a phone and it does have somewhat of a signal. Um, but uh, climbing up in there and then going through there. Now, years ago, I used to go spelunking and I used, I used to go in this cave called Nutty Putty. Since, since then, they've closed it because somebody got stuck and died there. They couldn't get them out. Um, so that's the last thing I want to do is be able to get stuck and nobody around to help me. Um, and uh, But there's that one. There's some more up underneath this rock here. It goes up in there and right down, right down in there. 
that goes down and goes that direction, in the direction that I thought this was supposed to go. Now, when I look at that map, it shows it shows that people have looped this, that have gone through here. Uh, now, I normally, <laughs> if I was with somebody, I would absolutely go down in there. Now, I'll, in fact, I'll probably go down in there. I just won't go very far. Uh, and 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 down in here as well. You get down in there. I've uh, I've gone down there. There's there's kind of opened up, and then another cavern, just kind of a tunnel, if you will, goes that way. And the tunnel is probably about the size of, uh, uh, I would say, uh, a refrigerator. It's the best I can describe. I'm thinking more a little roundish or something, but but. Uh, so I could certainly get through there, but again, how far does it go? And I will explore a lot of these. I'm going to probably go on this one here in a minute. But I'm just kind of skirting around this spot to see how many of these tunnels, if you will, are here. Um, because I was, I, I, was, I was thinking that it was a bigger, a bigger opening to where we were supposed to be going. Uh, here again, I found some more tunnels, if you will. Uh, let me turn this. Okay. All right. Um, this could be it. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, here, let me let me turn you around here so you can see. That goes down and around, goes through there, opens up. There's a feather right there. Okay, it looks like I'm on the right track right here. Yeah, because I thought that this was supposed to be... Oh, there we go again. The tunnel closes in. Um, I have a feeling that one of those I was looking at comes down into here. So, but... Uh, yeah, th so that one closes in, you guys. Uh, so I won't go down that one. Darn it, I thought I was hoping this is it. But I was under the impression that this... Uh, that this uh, was able to, you were able to access this fairly well uh, through the entire thing. It's not looking like that so far, but uh, uh, but I'm gonna keep looking around and venture around and I will most likely go in some of these smaller ones for just a short period of time. Like I said, I won't go too deep into them. I just don't want something to happen, I'm alone here. Uh, here's another one. I don't think that goes anywhere. Um, okay, this headlamp, let's talk about this headlamp here for a second. Let me take it off. Uh, like I said, it's not really for lightweight backpacking at all. Um, it's, it's got this great big battery pack. You see, let me come out in the light here. Uh, I'm going to have somewhere safe to stand. Um, yeah, so you can see it's kind of got quite a big battery pack. And you charge it just like you do your phone. It's got a little port for your, uh, your, your little charging port there. Uh, and then it's even got, I'm not quite sure, but there's a, a slot for the... Uh, like an HD or something like that. I don't know. Um, I don't know, but there's a couple slots here. I'm not quite sure what they're for. I didn't read the directions. But the light itself, I love it. It's bright. It's got the flasher on it. You can zoom it in and out. So I do like it, and it's pretty dang bright. Uh, I do like it, and other than this, you know, this cord hanging off here and the big battery pack. So uh, I thought I'd bring it out and try it. But, you know, hanging around camp or something like that would be all right if you're car camping. Um, but I've got another one, so what's the point of that? But, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep exploring here a little bit. And oh, I'm sorry I put that sun right in your eye again. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep exploring here a little bit and uh, see what I can't find. I really hope I can find this because it's really too early in the day for me to be stopping. Uh, if not, I'll just go hiking out in the fields. Um, so, all right, everybody, well, let's see. Okay, um, so these things hanging I was talking about, they're hanging here, they are not icicles. They're, when you, you, 
you grab them, they break, they crunch, kind of like a Cheeto. Uh, I'm sure they don't taste like Cheetos, but you can see the crack in the rock and everything. And it just, uh, something is seeping down and causing, causing that. Uh, but it's certainly not icicles. So, all right, buddy. Well, I'll, uh, I'll come back to you in a little while. See you later, my friends. All right, so I found a little cave here. I don't know if you can really see. There we go. Well, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's, oh, I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead. It's pretty tight and I'm gonna be doing a lot of crawling here, but, uh, but we're gonna do this. See how far this goes. There is enough room to turn around if I need to. So, oh, I got the rock. This, this is difficult. Oh, so anyhow, ow. Whew, this is tougher than I thought right here. But anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and, and go through here. I found this. There's a couple others, but it's, uh, they're a little too tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down this one and see how far this one takes us, all right? <laughs> 